up everybody, this is Mel Philippines Boy, and welcome back to Madden 22's Franchise Mode, and this is Road to Super Bowl 56, and this week, we're going back to U.S. Bank Stadium to face the L.A. Chargers, so let's get straight into it. Back in 2018, the Rams lit up the Vikings for over 500 yards and a win. Today, Minnesota's defense finally gets its chance for revenge. Don't go anywhere. It's coming up next. A very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. The scene a short time ago, this crowd decked out in purple, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football, folks, as the Vikings get set to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. Side, Charles Davis. CD, you look at the Vikings coming into play. They have a tremendous aerial attack, one of the best in the league. But they're going to face a stiff test here. I don't think that they'll face a tougher test all season long because this is the number one defense in the NFL, a team that puts a lot of pressure on a quarterback. And we know from talking to both of these teams, neither one's going to back down from this challenge. If we have a good aerial attack, <laughs> I want to know this. I'm also doing medium passes. I don't bomb it out. And again, the holiday a season lot of my is upon us. We've got the gift to the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. This fielded right at the goal line. Oh. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee. I would have bombed. So Go here's back. the Viking if offense making their way out. They'll be let out by the rookie third-round pick from Texas A&M. It's Kellen Mond. And they are in rhythm on offense because of him. I mean, right now, he's got everything going the way he wants to, finding the receivers the way he wants to, looking over defenses. No interceptions is the number I lock in on. Before a touchdown pass isn't so bad either. Yeah, what a game he had last week. Now a throw here to his running back. And go. he's taken down, but able to slip across we, the 30. We gotta get this going. Give him 10 yards there. And we do got Justin Jefferson back, so that's good. Down. That's good for us. Mon looks to throw. He gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. At this point, yards as the Vikings pick up the first we're down. moving the ball. We're doing good. Moving the ball. The first see. carry now for Dalvin Cook. And Ooh. he's going to take this one across midfield. And That's into a two-legged tackle. Pretty much unreal. Not just in terms of yardage, Charles, but also throwing the three touchdowns as well. When you put the whole package together, I can make you a pretty good guy, guarantee right get now. First here. He's going to see that? a few more people in the box every time he lines up. Yeah, I don't think that the defense has any choice. They've got to stop him. Can't let a repeat performance like that. Agreed. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you got to find a way well, to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. On the 42. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Well, on their side of the ball field. Running for it, here's Cook. Gotta get Cook cooking. Cook a first down and more. And Cook can be stopped. Down for Cook to a touchdown. This 19th touchdown now in the season. And the Vikings have taken a first quarter lead. Boy, the world with Dalvin Cook is explosiveness. I'm not sure there's anybody in the league that has the acceleration that he does. And he put it to good effect there. And that's why he's one of the best running backs in the game today because this run combined all the elements. Started with patience, and he was just waiting for the right lane to materialize. Right. Then once he saw it, 
He used his speed and his capability in tandem and turned this into a tremendous play. And yeah, he covered a lot of ground on that. Yeah, he the final total there on Next Gen Stats. Right after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7 0. The kickoff unit is out of the field. We're on a roll with Dalvin Cook this year. We're on a roll. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's but able to get this across the 20, there. but not by much as he's hey, moved down time to see Matthew Stafford. Rams taking the field, ready for their first offense. He is series. doing good. And let out by their new starter he for just didn't get out of Detroit. Now 13th season in the National Football he League. He got out of Detroit. Matthew Stafford. Which is doing good for the Rams. Him, like in terms now, of numbers. One touchdown, one now. pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a now way to win the them. game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense, and hopefully springs a receiver or two for it. And he's got it past oh, the 30 before he's been dropped. The drive is starting with a first down, 11 yeah. yards on that pickup. That's a love to run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And, <laughs> and he's going and down for the sack. To the Neil Hunter. Down. Stafford is sacked. Daniil Hunter, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the deal. Counting it as he like one, it. two, and then he ran out of time. Second, Second and 20. Three. Another try after the first down sack. Stafford, and that'll be incomplete. <laughs> Took a pretty good shot good as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one. Yeah, because to me, three. when that happens, yeah. key guys are out. The next man steps up and plays well. But that starts with the organization itself. All the way through. No excuses for guys being out. Ooh, Finding guys who are capable backups who can stand up for when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep, Patrick Peterson. Yeah, last week in the now last we got five back punts there. as he gets this one away. P2's not going for 37-yard <laughs> punt, a return of four. And the Vikings will take over here first and ten. All right, Kellen, we got this. The Vikings offense making their way back out. Now let's give you a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend of the game. NFC. And for them, it's no and longer a question of will they make the playoffs. They've clinched the division title. The question, can they hold on to that number one seat? And this is where the mental fortitude comes to play. You know Dallas because has now you're not just the coach talking about it. It's team talking about it to each other, supporting each other, carrying each other along, because having that number one seed means everything in the NFL. It does. So even though the division title is clinched, shouldn't take the foot off it. No, no, no. Okay. Play it all the way through. I think we've seen that in recent years in the NFL. The teams that play and play to win each and every game, they're the ones to deal with in the playoffs. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. From the gun, here's Mon. Cook with a first down and much more. Cook is gone again. Touchdown. And that's how he's Vikings. Dalvin Cook. He's going to be a beast this Touchdown game. number 20 on the year. And the Vikings get the quick strike touchdown. He's a beast all well, Dalvin Cook is so explosive in the open field. He's not a small guy either, but once he gets those legs churning, mm. look out. And that's the kind of play you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. And now, so just give me a second here touchdown. because when he shifted in the high gear, he was an absolute blower out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And if you look at the next-gen stats, you'll see that he topped out at an even 21 miles an hour. Woo! Now in. How does the kickoff hit as there. they run up and send this one away. away? And he was gone. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback. And they'll begin at the 25. Now let's so see the how coming the back second the field, drive their the second game. drive of the game. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. 
They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. And not oh, much think to CJ speak Henderson of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard, and here's second and nine for the 26. Throwing a Stafford. He'll find Henderson there. It's complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven oh, past Anderson. the 30 to the 32. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. Anderson. An injured player. We need you. With a heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Wait, I'll move the a ball. strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. On first down at Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. Oh, and he'll Cooper be taken Cup. down as that will take us Ooh, to the end of the first quarter of play. Go. Okay, 14 we nothing to score. Need to, this is the NFL. Well, I guess it's not going to be in for the rest of this game. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. From the 50, Stafford. Trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Oh, it's Richard the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman. And he will yeah. finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. And this is a and that's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the football away. And they just gave us another example right here. A strong mm. defense. That is you're good. You're going to need to rely on come Got Richard Sherman. And got this Patrick crew Pierce. has got one. Two no I wish the Vikings could just go out and give Richard Sherman right now. The Vikings the offense Richardson now still has a lot take left. Over. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made hey, the read, he was able to make the play. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. A well, good field position to start field the drive, position. but under the gun now here on third and eight. Now Mon. Catch is made here by Herb Smith Jr. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Mond. That is caught inside the five. And the Vikings are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Cook, a 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a hey, third time. We need to get this touch now. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. It's a quarterback sneak. Here we go. He's We're getting into the touchdown. touchdown. Kellen Mond with a second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Yeah. We're doing, we're, we got a yard or two deep, here comes start. a return. Mm, yeah, and in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he sure. only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Should have taken a knee. 
The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Oh, this Ooh, one incomplete. The pressure did. got to him as he released it. And it's second down. That so now second help. and ten after the incompletion on first down. Staff. Stafford. Again, he targets Cup, and this time he's got it. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Stafford to Cup there for the Rams first down. On first and ten, Stafford. That'll be swung out wide here for Henderson. Three yards the game there, second down. Brandon, you know this is going to be discussed because this is the fear of all the backs when they run this type of a route. They've got to find the football, and sometimes they don't see the defender. And in this case, he took a pretty good shot for his efforts, but give him credit, able to hold on to the football. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Oh, he got hit. <laughs> By a line. Reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past he the 50. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. What? The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know oh, that there's a penalty line, now. right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that. Looks like an extra step was involved. This will be stopped about oh two yards shy of the marker. Don't want Eight this. Game, don't second and two. <laughs> to the air again, Stafford. That's taken in by Henderson. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Now it's Stafford. Man open. It's Cup. He's got it. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. This will be the first red zone opportunity now for the Rams. They've got a first and ten at the 15. Stafford's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. Seven yards, the pick up there. <laughs> this is a big game. window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Rams. Right. Deshaun Jackson. Kind of giving a us time. Eight on the year. Thirty and seconds. The Rams are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Gay is up and good. Thirty seconds. And the lead will be Try cut to get down another fourteen. Set now to kick this one away and hey. off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so he will start here at the 25. The Vikings going to take over now late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Mine going to throw it. Well, this is Smith with a grab. And he is finally out of bounds. There we go. Down at the 30. Junior. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this he season has, has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. And inside the 20 before he's brought timeout. down. The Vikings going to signal for the first to their timeouts. 
As he'll stop it with 17 seconds they gave to go us in this first too much time. Action. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Way too much time. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, and it Vikings. Is too much time to and give us. And the As the first half is winding down. And the Vikings will extend their lead here just before half time. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now. This and you can see the confidence in the team has grown. Game. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home turn on sports talk radio he's okay he's okay so not oh, much time to kick. speak of remaining in this first but. half as the kicks away 12 seconds left and not wanting to risk they're probably gonna go for a knee half. he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25 set to begin their next drive the rams offense at the line as they go to work with 12 seconds on the clock and bulldozing his way through. And an anxious Ooh. moment or two there, but they do get him down. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout right, with five deep. seconds remaining in quarter number two. The final shot before the break, Stanford. Oh, he's going to throw one up for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Ooh. Took a shot, okay. couldn't connect. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided yeah, game one so far. <laughs> as we send you really down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has Almost our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Right, let's give it to the okay, coach. Brandon, thank you very much. Some critical games going on as teams fight for those final playoff berths. Let's get you around the NFL here in a busy Week 16. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta. And it's the Falcons who are out in front in the second quarter. Calvin Ridley, a touchdown reception. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting San Francisco 49ers. Ryan Tannehill, excellent in the W as his guys get victory number 12 on the year. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Title Town, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to see what's happening with the Packers. And they were losers in that ball game to the visiting Cleveland Browns. Baker Mayfield, four touchdown passes in the victory. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Rams, and they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half, and it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, they were much more successful throwing the football than their counterparts, as you can see the numbers there. Final adjustments being made in the locker rooms. We're just about ready for the second half from Minneapolis. And for the call, let's rejoin Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, All thank right. you very much. As we we got to defend the short pass. They've been getting the short passes. The Rams set to receive the second. I feel like the short pass is a trade here as we most play. Because they can stop the run easily. And sometimes. we will not see a return to start the it's half. This should be a touchback. <laughs> As the Rams offense comes back out, here is the NFC playoff picture coming into the weekend. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, I mean, efficient, to get, get the ball to the end zone, I mean, and do it again lot. multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Fair game. And he's and going down against Jordan. Brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Daniel Hunter in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. So one quick easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session. Oh, and is firing on the wall. Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose oh, yards back at the 17. Where Defensively, they rally to the troops get a to first down? down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. 
On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. On the return is Peterson. 49-yard punt. <laughs> I, I saw that there was the return. So And that will come the offense as they take over. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together right in the these rear drives view to end mirror. up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time run right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes we got, we got it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited yards. about getting the ball back for their offense uh, that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Looking to throw. Room to run pass. Oh, Didi. Didi is gone. Touchdown! D.D. Westbrook hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, we know that he can beat you in a number of ways. He can catch it short, he can take it long, or he can do what we just saw right there, catch it, and then run with the football. And plenty to praise on the play, but this is also there a bit of a breakdown easy. defensively because you've got to be right on him when he makes the catch. Otherwise, he has the ability to really make you pay, and he does right there, picking up excellent real estate after the catch. And the next-gen stats show us the tale of how much yardage he was able to tack on after the catch. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Kellen, you're doing good in your first two starts. The field, and they will send this one away. I'm surprised I, never even, I haven't even thrown a pick yet. And it'll come oh, out to be 25 as he will that. not attempt to return. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You go over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Second down at Henderson, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good That's enough for the first like. down. It doesn't really say how you can get the exact. They'll run with Henderson. Shoves him aside. Still going. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the enemy territory. Looks like he six yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. He ran through Anthony. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 yeah, at the 48-yard line. Back there. Here's Stafford. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. Seven yards, the pick up there. Right. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And this one mm -hmm. incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. I would have loved it if it was picked. <laughs> Stafford on third down. That's caught by Jackson. And he's going to oh, have a Rams first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. So from the 36 now, first and 10. All right. Yeah, be flustered. Don't know what to do. Stafford looks to throw again. He'll get this underneath to Henderson. He that catch good for only a way. couple. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So, yeah, that's your practice that's sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. 
Where is he lining up? What can he, he do? Is what kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match oh, up to him. A check down here to Jones. And brought down, but not before now they get it inside the 10 to the seven. Decline. That's going to be declined. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So it was obviously, a free play. more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math. They did it well, and it works for them. One quarter remains here in Week 16. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. They'll run here with Henderson. And he's able to get down to the two-yard line. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and good. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can... And he takes it across. Yeah, he was going to touchdown. It was close. Daryl Henderson. His sixth touchdown of the oh, season. Darryl. And the Rams get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. So still lots oh. of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Vikings able to recover. The hands team does its job. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside I, kick. I, can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game hey, situation. Dalvin. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. And past the 35, and he dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 74 yards rushing uh, for him in this one as he starts to draw near to a 1,500-yard campaign. 1,500 yards. Now Cook. Cook, a first down and more. And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. And it's it's all down. First down, I'm going to be a gain of 21 yards. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And <laughs> he'll get into the end zone. I was going to put that touchdown. He deserved that touchdown. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Vikings are on their way to a 13th win on the year as they add on to their lead. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Oh, we got 1,500 yards. Dalvin this year. Here's the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before. It does not work. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. After the incomplete pass <laughs> was, here now, in the second get, and ten. Get to Stafford. Stafford. Right side complete. That's Woods. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. I see you, Stafford. I see you. The Rams on third down. They've hit four and seven. This time it's third and three. Here's Stafford. 
Trying to get it to Jackson, and it's intercepted. Alexander Madison. Mackenzie Alexander with oh, Mackenzie Alexander. And he's able to get it back to the 33 yard <laughs> no, line. I, I, I didn't mean to. That interception may be the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy it's a film session. Amazing. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation Alvin. points, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? <laughs> yeah, you're smarter than me. Everybody I, knows that. Listen, I go with what you say, my man. <laughs> Since we got Jets back, let's throw him back with the touchdown. Mon here. looks to throw. And this one is here. The carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Welcome, Jets back. First pass of the game. Touchdown pass. I'm going to bring up a point from earlier in the year. Some of the fans were saying, when do we turn to the rookie? Well, he's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I love the fact that the fans are bringing that up because I'm not the head coach, okay? <laughs> so he's got to deal with it, but I think it's legit. And now, of course, all what? scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying That's to look at to see if it all comes down. together. Oh, better. Well, I have not realized yet. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video yeah. review, so they had it right. Extra point right down the middle, and that will extend this big lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this uh, one away. I didn't realize. I should try to realize Jefferson more. No run back here down to a knee, yeah. and this drive will start Judy's at the 25. Junior's been, been good. The field. Here comes Los Angeles. has been good. And following the interception, just any interception, Steven. are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or maybe I'm, just how, throw that out there? I need to change up how I, I look. You are. I, don't I think usually look right, you right can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too There we go. And the pressure Daniel. gets to him and brings it down. Stafford is sacked. Daniel Hunter. In there to get him, sack number 14 for him on the year. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Another try after the first down sack. Stafford. And there we go, Michael Pierce. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, uh, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. What's that to be a safety? Safety was so nice. From the end zone, Stafford. This is caught. It's Woods. A big pickup, 18 yards, but they still stop him well short of the marker. I don't know how many times. Not right. just in my playing career, but you and I working together. just get somebody Have you ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big game still a place to go, though. And look at that. And it's incomplete. Injury. They cannot convert, and they turn Four. it over. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already hey, determined. Injury. No doubt about it. This my one was over a while ago. But bastards. They'll run on first down. That's it's change. Cook. I'm getting in with and Cook. And they are going to score again. Oh. Yet another touchdown. Do that. They just added to it. And, and I'm going to retaliate with the touchdown. The receiving touchdown earlier. Now a trio of rushing touchdowns. Quite a performance. Diversification. You know That's all you can talk about. His and ability to out. do everything. It's kind of the guys him on the field in. on every down on offense because you can hand it to him as we've seen. Did you say three rushing touchdowns? Don't, don't and need to him where he's caught injury. One as well. Point after this lead in the season. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. 
Set now to kick this yeah, I got Delvin Cook. He, he's my guy. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. LA yeah, is set to it take out. over again on offense. He, they are just obviously getting get shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling. No, again. you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. From the gun on third down, Stanford. Open man right side is cut complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to at, get at this the third point, down conversion. Even if they're moving, the momentum bar should not go down because I'm first winning. Down at Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. Oh, and they get to him after a gain of six. But still, to the that momentum bar is so confusing. You can be oh, up by a lot and it still moves back and forth. To victory and the defensive guys are saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They were gratefully accepting that it makes their job that much easier. I love it. When they're scoring that many points, allows them to play with a totally a different, different style rushing. and a different flow. Two, six, seven passing. So for Minnesota, they continue to rack up the victories as this one moves them to 13 and two on the year. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Green Bay Packers. Ooh, Meanwhile, for Packers LA, this loss really hurts their playoff chances as they drop to seven and eight with two games left. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Baltimore Ravens. All right, well, I'm gonna leave this here. And if you guys liked it, Smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later, guys. Four, three, two, one. Last off.